Patrick Starr is usually portrayed as a lazy, carefree starfish with a clueless attitude. But what if this is all an act? What if Patrick isn't as simple as he seems? What if he's the real villain of the show? Typically, Patrick is seen as a nice person who often ends up in crazy situations with SpongeBob. However, he wasn't always like this. And by the end of this video, you will see how the pink starfish you grew up loving is not what you think. Patrick isn't much of a complex character. In fact, the creator of the show simply described Patrick as probably the dumbest guy in town. In the initial seasons, we see certain moments where he acts stupid, but it's not really dumb. It's just him lacking any thinking. For example, Patrick moves his table forward to avoid getting hit again, when really, he should instead be looking up. In later seasons, though, he loses this ability, or rather, it is replaced with stereotypical dumbness. Patrick isn't really meant to be dumb. He just doesn't think. In fact, one running gag we see in the show is Patrick acting smart. Usually, it occurs when Patrick says something incredibly smart, followed by something stupid. The show tries to make Patrick's random bursts of smartness seem like flukes, but how come they always happen when he needs them? In one clip, Patrick says he tries to keep SpongeBob on his toes by manually switching his dumbness. What if his dumbness is all fake and it's just there to conceal his true smartness? We don't see any superpowers from Patrick in the show, so it's fair to say that his intelligence was his main weapon against Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, which I know for a fact he has faced before. How do I know this? In episodes that feature these heroes, SpongeBob and Patrick are usually involved as well. Nothing too strange happens in these episodes, except for one gag where Mermaid Man screams evil, even when there doesn't appear to be any. Could it be that there is evil, but we just don't see it? We know it can't be SpongeBob since we see him alone with both of them and it doesn't really affect Mermaid Man. Not even Mermaid Man's villains seem to trigger this, but whenever Patrick is around, Mermaid Man goes crazy. Earlier, I mentioned that Patrick is not dumb. He pretends to be. The Patrick Mermaid Man knew was likely a threat due to his intelligence, which he no longer possesses. Although he is hiding his smartness, I believe at one point he genuinely was dumb. And there's one episode which caught my eye while trying to prove this point. That being Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3. In this episode, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy invite SpongeBob and Patrick to look after the Mermelair. But just a few minutes after they leave, SpongeBob and Patrick end up accidentally releasing Man Ray. They try to teach him to be good, but end up failing. So they resort to using the Orb of Confusion to try and capture him. This doesn't work as they end up using it on themselves, but we see the effects it has on Patrick and SpongeBob. Mermaid Man says that if exposed too long, it will leave you confused indefinitely. But how does Mermaid Man know the everlasting effect of this orb? Obviously, he had to use it on someone, right? The symptoms of the orb seem to resemble how Patrick normally acts. Therefore, I believe this was used on Patrick and could very well be what stopped his smartness. Although the Orb of Confusion removed most of Patrick's intelligence, some of his original smartness remains. This means that Patrick has two sides, his usual confused self and a smarter, more cunning side. These two sides coexist in the same body, sometimes causing him to switch between being clueless and surprisingly intelligent. In the episode Rule of Dumb, Patrick gets crowned king of Bikini Bottom by a weird-looking starfish. He immediately starts abusing his power and only uses it to get whatever he lays his eyes on. There's one scene where Patrick experiences a sort of short circuit in his brain. This was not just a gag. It signifies Patrick's old self starting to come out. When he walks by a mirror, we see a reflection of Patrick, not one that looks like him, but a big and hideous version. This scares Patrick, but only when he finds out that it's him and sort of snaps him back to reality. Patrick, at the start of the show, was generally a nice guy with some selfish moments here and there. For example, in the episode I'm With Stupid, he makes fun of SpongeBob to impress his parents. However, in episodes like Rule of Dumb, he acts more sinister. When he gains power, he starts acting like a jerk and starts abusing it at every chance he gets. But then he gives up his power once he realizes the tyrant he has become. Another example is in the episode Patrick Smart Pants. When he gains intelligence, he starts acting badly towards his friends, but he eventually realizes what he has become and gives up his intelligence. 
there's a pattern in these episodes. Patrick gains power or some sort of ability, uses it for a bad cause, and then gives it up to avoid being evil. This suggests that the Patrick we see on screen is not inherently evil, but the sinister side of him can take over in situations where he gains power. In the episode, Squid-tastic Voyage, Patrick doesn't remember what he said because it wasn't him. It was smart Patrick. This split control explains the confusion he experienced after saying something smart in a critical moment. Smart Patrick managed to say something intelligent just when they needed it, but lost control immediately after, showing how he oscillates between his smarter and more confused selves. Patrick was and still is a threat to Bikini Bottom. I think this is because the effects of the Orb of Confusion are wearing off slowly. In later seasons, Patrick is more of a jerk than he was before, such as in the episode Ink Lemonade. In this episode, Patrick goes to the trouble of terrorizing Squidward just for the sake of getting money. When first watching this episode, you might disregard these actions as him not knowing any better, but he does. Patrick is still a threat because his dumbness is no longer natural. He uses his dumbness to conceal his true intelligence, which gets him out of many situations. This is visible in the episode Stuck in the Ringer. SpongeBob almost slips on a bar of soap, but notices just in the nick of time. But still, he ends up getting stuck in a ringer after slipping on a rubber duck. Conveniently, Patrick shows up looking for this very same rubber duck. SpongeBob asks Patrick for help to get him out of the ringer, but Patrick accidentally uses forever glue on SpongeBob, getting him stuck in it. SpongeBob doesn't get mad and goes to work, but obviously he can't perform his usual tasks at the Krusty Krab and ends up getting sent home for the day. Patrick shows up again, and SpongeBob tells him what happened. Patrick then takes SpongeBob to an ice cream shop to cheer him up. SpongeBob, for obvious reasons, can't eat the ice cream. But lucky for him, Patrick has the perfect idea. He eats SpongeBob's ice cream for him. This only ruins SpongeBob's mood even more. Later on, Patrick decides he wants to take SpongeBob to the carnival. But Patrick conveniently picks the only activities SpongeBob can't do. And he's not only forced to watch the fun he's missing out on, but he's injured several times. SpongeBob finally lashes out at Patrick, telling him this is all his fault. Patrick defends his case by saying he was only trying to help, and the bystanders see SpongeBob as the bad guy. Patrick managed to turn the jolliest creature in Bikini Bottom into this, but it's okay because he doesn't know any better, right? If you think about it, all this might have been planned. It can't just be by chance that his duck magically appears in front of SpongeBob. He then accidentally puts glue on SpongeBob, and he conveniently picks the only activities SpongeBob can't do. But why? There's no clear answer in the episode, but it could be because he wants to guilt trip SpongeBob, knowing that SpongeBob is the one that provides for him. Most people might say he didn't do anything evil, but as the saying goes, evil is not the defiance of laws etched in stone, but the betrayal of the morality etched in our hearts. While Patrick doesn't break any laws, his evil shows through his actions with his friends. Obviously, he breaks various laws throughout the show, but he doesn't face any real consequences for them. Besides this, at one point Patrick was genuinely a good friend, whereas now he just uses SpongeBob for whatever he needs. The exaggerated dumbness of this newer Patrick is also explainable by this theory, as now it's more forced, whereas before it was genuine. This also means that the original Patrick from Season 1 is ceasing to exist as time goes on and as the effects of the Orb of Confusion wear off. If you like this theory and want to see more content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Patrick is truly the hidden villain of Bikini Bottom? And if you're curious about more theories and secrets from the world of Spongebob, Click on the video here. See you next time.